outside the norm is it for the presidential candidate's spouse and former first lady to receive a substantial speaking fee like this during a campaign? Well, I think the reporting, your reporting is really interesting because of the timing. It's not unusual for a former first lady to earn six figures speaking. Um, but it is unusual during a campaign season. And then for us not to understand where the money is coming from is also very unusual. So, so Melania Trump has been noticeably absent from almost all of Trump's campaign, understandably to me. I wouldn't want to be seen on Trump's campaign trail either, because I guarantee you when she married him, this is not what she signed up for. She wanted to marry rich and live the rest of her life in rich peace. And then her husband decided to run for president. Like she was at the RNC only one night and didn't even speak. She's been barely there. However, now suddenly she is speaking and getting cut six figure checks for it. And we don't even know who's cutting the checks. It could possibly all be about her new book that's coming out that you can pre-order now uh, called Melania. And it's just a memoir uh, for which she's been advertising quite a bit on Twitter, mostly just discussing why she chooses to stand behind her previous nude modeling, which normally I'd be all about supporting, except for the fact that um, every person in her voter base or her husband's voter base rather uh, absolutely hates women, wants to take away their rights and is constantly degrading women who are sex workers and do OnlyFans. She couldn't possibly talk about her actual interesting experience about being an immigrant in this country and also being an immigrant while being married to Donald Trump, whose base tends to hate immigrants. But she won't for that reason, because the base hates it. And for only $40, <laughs> that's not terrible, but for up to $250 for the collector's edition, uh, the First Lady invites readers into her world, offering an intimate portrait of a woman who has lived an extraordinary life. I'm, this is going to sound mean. I'm sorry. $250? What could be so interesting? What could possibly be so interesting about Melania Trump that she has to say in this book that's worth $250? Or perhaps it's this other grift, this vote freedom limited edition necklace celebrating Lady Liberty, also available at Melania Trump. So you can, you know, kill two birds with one stone. You can order the book and the necklace at the same time. Also, you can engrave it with no extra charge, uh, which is good considering that this gold plated Vermeil necklace is already $600. <laughs> wow, what a steal. It's not even solid gold. It's vermeil. It's not even it's $600. I suppose when you've unwillingly become the first lady, might do that again. Uh, and also you have to be married to Donald Trump when you never really wanted any of that in the first place. You got to make your grifts where you can. You, you got to make the situation work for you. When you're married to one of the best grifters in the United States, you're going to learn a thing or two and you're going to have to use that to your advantage. Otherwise, what does she have? You know, I, unpopular opinion, I love this for her. She never wanted any of this. She's making moves. She's making her money. She's declaring that New York City is her main place of residence. Meanwhile, Trump, declaring himself a resident of Florida, has stated that Palm Beach will be his permanent residence. So they don't even live technically in the same state. I mean, she even declared publicly that if he won a second term, she wouldn't even live in the White House full time. She'd show up for events and dinners and stuff, but she would live full time split between Florida and New York City. Donald Trump's wife, Melania, and I put wife in quotes for reasons you'll understand. Donald Trump's wife, Melania, has now come out in support of abortion rights. Melania Trump has a book that she's promoting, and as part of the videos promoting her book, she released this. Watch. Individual freedom is a fundamental principle that I safeguard. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth, individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? Individual freedom, my body, my choice. Well, great of Melania Trump to come out now. <laughs> she could have done this 
a couple of years ago when the Supreme Court was considering whether to get rid of Roe versus Wade and kick it over to the states. And several states have now said, no, it's not your body, your choice, Melania Trump or any other woman. It belongs to the state. And the state gets to decide whether you carry this pregnancy to term and are forced to give birth or whether you have some sort of control over your own reproductive freedom. So what's going on here with Melania Trump? Is she just trying to bring more attention to her book? Is she trying to make some money? Is she trying to stick it to her husband? And maybe Melania Trump really doesn't want him to win. And this is her way of trying to say, look, you know, women of America, I agree with you. I don't agree with my husband on this. Or is she playing some sort of you know, multi-dimensional chess or she's somehow trying to soften up her husband's image by saying that even, you know, families have disagreements over this issue and it's okay to have a disagreement and still support your loved one who may be running for president or who may be voting for a Donald Trump. Um, it's um, it's pretty rich. Uh, and speaking of rich, and speaking of just sort of weird, Melania Trump adding to the theory that this is all about money for her, she has reportedly said that she would give an interview to CNN about her book and about issues like abortion rights. If CNN pays her $250,000, <laughs> 250K, now, Melania Trump um, has a history of selling things over the last couple of years and sort of doing the family grifting and trying to sell various products. $237,500. That's the price. We've just confirmed this bill for a quote unquote speaking engagement in April. CNN is talking about Melania Trump. For one appearance and some brief remarks, she was paid $237,500. She was paid by the log cabin Republicans for that April fundraiser she appeared at. Again, $237,500 for that. On this thing, I mean, the grift never stops with the Trumps. It's really unbelievable. You can buy the Trump coin. Melania Trump gets paid to go to a dinner for Republicans. I, when I was a Republican, I spoke at a couple of functions for, for, for the log cabin people. I didn't know I could get $237,000. I did it for free because I was a Republican. And... <laughs> They were a Republican group. You know, that's kind of what Republicans do. You know, what Democrats do for Democratic groups. Too. <laughs> but altruism is obviously not in the Trump playbook. <laughs> this is video of Melania Trump's arrival at her April appearance. It was at Mar-a-Lago. In other words, she walked there. And Melania Trump's speech was not exactly a barn burner. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be in your presence once again surrounded by friends and allies who share the common goal of promoting equality for all. I mean, it is amazing. The hucksterism and the grift, uh, you know, even what, what do we have? Six weeks after the election, neither of them, uh, neither uh, Mr. Trump nor Mrs. Trump stops with the with the, with the uh, the attempt to. Well, we got make, the gold coins, you know, and Trump, Trump, Sir Michael uh, putting out gold coins you know, with his face on it and selling them. <laughs> That's right, and coins to the branded collection of odd knickknacks that Donald Trump is selling to his supporters. They are actually silver and cost a hundred bucks. That's a bit more expensive than the Trump Bible he is selling, though less expensive than the Trump sneakers. Here is Donald Trump's recent coin announcement. Hello, everyone. I have something incredible to share today. We are announcing the launch of Trump Coins, a true symbol of American greatness. Trump coins are designed by me and minted right here in the USA. This beautiful limited edition coin commemorates our movement, our fight for freedom, prosperity, and putting America first. We always put America first. Trump also tends to put his profits first. And in this case, even though the coin costs $100 to buy, it only has $30 worth of silver. So the value of the coin is actually $30, not $100. You see how that works for Donald Trump? He makes 70 bucks. <laughs> the profit principle was the same with his previous grifts, including Trump Steaks, Trump Wine, and Trump University, which eventually went out of business. Anyway, Melania Trump has her own grift, I mean, knickknacks these days. She recently began selling the Vote Freedom Limited Edition necklace celebrating Lady Liberty. It costs $600 to buy, has Lady Liberty on the front, and nothing behind it. MelaniaTrump.com has other items as well, including an NFT of her that is part of her Women's History Month collection. This bit of history will send you back $150. For $90, you can purchase a Merry Christmas America USA star ornament. Sadly, the Christmas ornament does not come with an audio recording of Melania Trump disparaging Christmas responsibilities while she was First Lady. But we have it here for you free, thanks to CNN. Looking like a 
asthma, asthma, I know. That Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration, but I need to do it, right? Back to abortion, though. I think a lot of MAGA women are privately cheering that Melania Trump has come out and said, at least publicly, hey, I believe women have abortion rights and reproductive rights. Uh, one of the closest, I would say, Democrats to the Trumps uh, in terms of Democratic analysis, who has actually spent a lot of time talking with the Trumps, is Van Jones over on CNN. And uh, his take on this was um, was pretty interesting. Watch this. Maybe she's trying to come out of the shadows. I mean, just, yeah, this, the, the music in the background, her face is like half, half shaded. It's getting us talking about the book. It's definitely good for book sales. This is either one of two things. This is a big break with her, her husband and saying, I just don't agree. And I have my own book and my own stand and I don't care. Or it is 27 dimensional chess. And people say, well, maybe she will soften Trump on abortion. So maybe some suburban uh, housewives and, and, and women and voters will uh, change their position. But this is bizarre. I don't think you've ever seen in the history of American politics, a former first lady or the spouse of a candidate come out with a book and a video saying, I don't agree with my husband's party on a key issue. It, it's never happened before, it, it ever. Just, well, a lot of things with the Trumps have never happened before in US presidential or campaign history. Um, Donald Trump was the first president impeached twice, although the Senate refused to convict him other time. He was the first president to reject a peaceful transition of power. He was the first president convicted of felony charges. And remember those felony charges were for falsifying business records because he had allegedly an affair with a porn star while his wife Melania was home with their newborn baby. And he wasn't charged for that, but he was charged for falsifying the business records for the hush money payments and he got convicted. So again, the first president convicted of felony charges. He is the uh, first president to lie publicly more than 30,000 times, according to the Washington Post, which kept a record of this. Every president, I suppose you could argue, every politician lies, but the frequency with which Donald Trump lied publicly, never mind what he may have said to his own staff and to his colleagues behind closed doors, but what he said publicly, more than 30,000 times, according to the Washington Post. 